Hello there guys and a freezing cold welcome to this virtual walk around of the incredible absolute weapon that is the Hyundai i30N Fastback. Now you most commonly see these in hatchback form which obviously looks a little bit more of an estate but this gives you a real nice coupe feel at the back but retains its practicality with its four doors. Now these are personally, in the hatchback variant, my second favourite car of all time and I'm going to show you why they probably should be yours as well. Not only have they got unbelievably good styling, but they've also got unbelievably good power and an epic, epic spec. And if you didn't know, fun fact, these were actually designed by a guy named Albert Beerman who used to run the M division of BMW for 20 years and he is responsible for probably the best M cars you've ever seen. So they can't be that bad can they? And let's tell you why. So you can see that this one here is of course finished in the sumptuous Micron Grey. It's a nice silver dark grey metallic that gives it a real wet look and a real nice gloss finish. You've also got your LED halo headlights here with your LED daytime runners. And moving down, you can see you've got front parking sensors. You've got the real nice red kit, which is part of the N line, which of course stands for Nurburgring. And you've also got your real nice sports styling, sharp angular bumpers and black mesh grill just here. You've got your M badge and you can see that Hyundai's commitment to styling and their dedication to offering unbelievable cars has really, really taken a step up in recent years. I mean, that is a great looking car in anyone's book. Now moving down, you have of course got your 19 inch alloys that are diamond cut with gloss black and silver on the trim. And you've got the red N branded caliper as well. And moving down, you can see the car is free from any dinks, dents, damage, indentations, scuffs, anything of that nature. It's just a really, really clean car. You have, of course, as well, got your gloss black mirror pack, and you've also got your D-chrome window surround from factory, just to give it that super stealthy look and sports appearance. You've got black B pillars, and you've got tinted privacy glass as well. Now, the Fastback is renowned for, again, its coupe shape, a little bit similar to the Mercedes CLA, and the granite coupes of something like a BMW 435. But you can also see, with those you do get your AMG and M Sport packs. On this, you get a nice N-branded silk from factory. And moving around, the styling doesn't stop. You've got your Sharpin antenna. You've got your gorgeous black lip spoiler just on the back here. And coming down a little bit further again, you've got your rear LED lights. You've got your i30M badging. And moving down, you've got your big dual exhaust system with a red reflector and trim on there. And that is, of course, on your gloss black diffuser with those gaping chrome exhaust pipes. And let me just say, when you put this in end mode and custom, it is an absolute animal from factory. You've also got rear parking distance control and rear camera as well. Now, the boot on an i30N Fastback is, of course, Quite spacious, as you would imagine. You can see you've also got a strut brace just in there, which does help stability, but it also helps with handling. And in here, you have got an aftermarket boot mat, which somebody has bought, which I think is a great addition. So it just stops any potential damage to your boot lining. Now it is big enough in there to fit push chairs, prams. You can get strollers in there, all your shopping and suitcases as well. And you see, if you lift that up, you have got further storage just underneath as well with your spare wheel. Now it isn't an electric boot, so you do have to pull it down. And you can see there, you've got the real nice font on your Hyundai badging. But overall, that truly, truly is such a good looking car. It's a real statement piece and it is a real, real head turner. The thing I love about these personally is the fact that it's a sleeper. So back in the day when we used to have the Calibra turbos, we used to have the Nissan Pulsars, we used to have the Peugeot GTIs, the Saxo VTRs, and people used to do mad things to them. Well, this is just as bonkers, but it's all from factory. And if you debadge that, I'm telling you now, anybody else would think that that was a facelift M140i. 
But that's a stunning exterior covered. Let me take you inside now and show you everything that the Hyundai has to offer you as a potential new owner. So moving inside the i30N, I'm sure you'll agree it's so much better than what anybody had ever anticipated from the Korean manufacturer. Long gone are the days where people only know their name from such things as the coupe. These things are absolutely specced to the nuts. You've got the half Alcantara with the red stitching and half leather. They're also N emboss bolster seats. And you just get everything as standard. You can see you've got electronic seating and electronic lumbar support. You move around onto here, you've got the memory seating, you've got your automatic folding mirrors that's also electrically adjustable, you've got your electric windows, you've got your deadlock, and you've got a really, really big speaker here that gives you an awesome sound system as well. Moving down, you have got your aluminium N branded door in light just here. Do apologise about the bit of gravel on the matting. We have had a bit of snow here and we've had to use gravel to move the cars. You've got your stainless steel sports pedals and you've got lane departure warning, you've got your headlight, you've got the real nice red chrome contrast around your heating vents. And of course, you've got a super cool looking perforated Nappa leather steering wheel that's M branded and you've also got the multi-function controls on there as well. And moving around you can see your media system to a nice big touchscreen unit and it just flows beautifully in to the rest. Now in the rear, with a slanting back, a lot of people think you don't get much headroom, but Hyundai have answered those critics and said, nah, that's not what we do, bro. It's still practical. And you can see the seating in here is absolutely stunning. Isofix, it's got suede again, or the Alcantara. It's got the folding armrest. It's just a super, super spec car. But now what I'm going to show you is why it's so super spec. But it's also the fact that it's got so many cool features. Now I'm just going to get myself comfy. And then we're going to turn it on and show you all the different gizmos and gadgets. Right, so you can see it on your instrument cluster before it's turned on. You've got the real nice, almost 3D effect on the instrument cluster on the left and the right, and you've got the red contrast needles. Now you have got push button start, of course, and you can see when it loads up, it just gives you everything. Now you do get a nice chime, which you can turn on or off. It can change everything else, and you will also amend your seat as well. So you'll turn it on. And you're greeted by a really nice low grunt and burble just on the exhaust note, which of course is from factory. Now, you've got many different options on here. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna go right back into the menus for you and we're gonna start from the start. So you can see you've got your electronic speedometer just there. And that of course is controlled on here for your menu. So if you click on this button, that'll take you to the home menu. And you can scroll through your options using the arrows to navigate. So you can see you've got your instant MPG. You've got your actual trip computer, which 30.7 MPG really isn't bad on a car like this. If you're looking at a German counterpart, you're probably looking low 20s. Now you've also got navigation. Now that won't come up as a virtual cockpit as many people would expect. It just does tell you which way you are traveling. You've got a lap timer. You've got a G-force meter, you've got lane assist, you've got driver attention, you've got your tyre pressure monitor, and you've got your different gauges, including your turbo. And you've also got your driver assistance on here, and you can see you've got lane safety, driver attention, forward collision, forward collision, FCA. Now, if we go back again, you can click, oh, if I go back, sorry, and you click on door, you've got automatic lock or unlock. You've got your different lights, your one touch turn signal, headlight delay, and you've also got your welcome light. You've got your different sound. You've got your different convenience features, which we'll get back onto now. Ooh. You see you've got seat access, wireless charging, wipers, shift recommendation. I mean, this thing is absolutely stacked with things that you need to do. You can see it's not due a service for nearly 
under just a year there and you've got your fuel economy you've got temperature unit torque pressure you've got turbo boost pressure tire pressure i mean it's just absolutely colossal in terms of options and what you can do on this car it's just absolutely unreal now for me that would be the one i have because in the snow in the cold weather or even in general cars like this with a turbocharger need to be warm before you start to give them the beans and you will want to do that because this car is such a good performer but your oil temperature really needs to be anywhere between 74 to 84 degrees before you even consider it so do bear that in mind and don't drive it like a prat from cold now what you've also got on here is you've got your cruise control you've got your rev matching so you can see on there you can click it on or off now that's a feature that i would always have because it just allows that the car's never going to be over revved it's never going to be in any danger it will automatically match the revs even on your manual gearbox and you can see you've got your race mode here which we'll touch upon in just a minute you've got voice control you've also got your different apps that you can control from there and you've got your bluetooth and your sound and you've got drive mode so what we're going to do now is we're going to click on drive mode and you can see you've got three different options normal sport and eco each one pretty self-explanatory normal will just be a standard drive gives you a nice little exhaust now gives you good handling nice easy on the steering but it's nothing to really really write home about sport of course in turns that up you get a higher rev ratio better throttle response more responsive steering and eco is the one for most fuel efficiency so if you are driving down to portsmouth or you're driving to devon on holiday and you want to save some time some money then go in eco mode and that will ensure it's good but if you click on the race flag button which is this little baby here also known as the secret weapon you get end mode or you get custom now in custom oh yeah you get a real real naughty naughty growl from the exhaust which is a valve system so it opens up some baffles and it just gives it a real nice pop and bang from stock if i was doing it it would be sport and n mode custom now on the back of there you can also see you've got your automatic lights and automatic wipers and now we move on to the real showpiece of the interior which is of course the media system itself so you don't have to use a touch screen but it is a lot easier so you can see you've got a nice dual screen here but we'll click on all menus first and we'll go right the way into this so we'll start on the first one which is of course end mode now this brings up a real real cool performance monitor you can see your turbo your torque your power your g-force and your performance timer as well now if you click on custom you can see that you can change your powertrain and your chassis so you can change your exhaust sound you can change your lsd which is of course your limited slip diff and on the exhaust sound you can see it gives you a nice explanation of what they do as well but sport plus is an aggressive sound and we like that rev matching you'll want sport plus so you can see you can drive it dynamically and the engine of course in sport plus as well and if you go into chassis you can see you can change your steering so it just gives you nice little different options of what you can do you can also turn traction control off but in this type of weather i don't think that i would be doing that now if you go back onto your menu you can see that you've also got current location you've got navigation which brings up a really really nice little sat nav on there it's big big unit it's high contrast it's high resolution and it's really really modern it gives you a really really nice screen and it's really simple to use as well so hyundai you've got my vote on that you've also got bluetooth telephone which you can see on here and you can also see that your vehicle name is i30n you've got phone projection voice memo and radio which we're going to turn down because that's terrible but you can also see that on there you've got dab and if you click on band you've got fm and am as well but let's face it are you ever going to listen to anything unless you've got d 
DAB, the only thing you're ever going to listen to is, of course, DAB. And being as it's this time, it is, of course, time for Christmas. Now, if you go back into the menus again, you can see you've got further settings, which can change your vehicle. So you can do your driving mode alert. You've also got navigation, sound, device. You've got Wi-Fi and you've got general settings here, which can update your system info and plenty of different options there. So we're not going to go through all of them because there is a very, very extensive amount of options. And you can also see you've got media here which does include DAB, FM, Bluetooth, USB, Sounds of Nature, which isn't for me, but it might be for some people, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, and the auxiliary. Don't forget, guys, this is all from factory. This is all standard. So just believe, if you were buying this as a, and again, another German rival, think how much this would be costing you in comparison to the i30N. You've also can click on the buttons here, of course, and get into the menus we've just been on. But I just prefer using the media itself. You can also go into your settings that way, and you can set your favourites. And moving down, you have, of course, got your piano black inlay just around here with your SD card and your fans and your heating. And you've got your hazard lights, you've got your door locking, and you've got your air conditioning. Now, this is, of course, dual zone, meaning you can have it cold for the passenger and warm for the driver. Temperature is controlled by this dial here. You've got aircon, you've got recirculation, front screen and rear screen. But we are going to turn that down so you can hear me. You've got sync, which syncs the temperatures. You can turn it off. And this is how you control the distribution of air and how much is pumped into the cabin. You've also got where it's pumped into the cabin and you've got the automatic setting just here. Now down here you've got some real cool gizmos, you've got your 12 volt charger, USB, auxiliary, a second 12 volt charger and of course you've got your Q and your wireless charging. Again Hyundai, you have thought of everything. Now these are manual or this particular variant is, you can see you've got your Nappa leather with the red stitching and you've got the real nice chrome and gloss black N branded gear knob just there with a nice little bit of red styling as well and the perforated leather. It's a car that every single element has really been thought about and you can tell that they've loved building these and the guys at the plant who've manufactured them have really, really enjoyed the turnaround in Hyundai's fortunes and really, really got to grips and made such an effort to make it a market leader, not just another car. And you can see this one as well, with those guys in mind, comes with a winter pack, which is the highly sought after option of heated steering wheel and heated front seats. You've also got parking sensors, auto start stop and traction control. Now to use the gear knob to put it into reverse, you have the little gator that lifts all the way to the left, all the way to the right. And you can see your reverse camera kicks straight in. I mean, this thing just blows my mind. I absolutely love them. And on here, you've got your two cup holders, an old school handbrake. So for the younger generation, that's not on, your car will move. That is on, your car shouldn't move. And you've also got your Nappa leather armrest here with the red stitching, which you open up and you've got more than enough storage for your phone, your wallet, your keys, or whatever else you might take out with you. But that really is pretty much everything I can show you on this i30N. But I could sit in here all day. I could do everything and I could just keep talking because they are absolutely phenomenal. Value for money? I don't think that there's a better hatchback out there or a better saloon for spec, for performance or for driving pleasure. Now it's warmed up a little bit. Just listen to this exhaust now. can't tell me that's not something you want at the bottom of your foot every single day so there you are guys that is the i30n in a nutshell but if you're still not sure just remember that every car here at emerald is treated to the 128 point check prior to retailing that is of course taking place at our on-site rac approved facility by our head tech and our massively experienced techs who have been in the game for many many years we cover everything cosmetically mechanically to make sure that the car is in peak condition for when you turn up at hq to come and view it and take it away 
We also are able to offer a vast array of finance options and we do welcome part exchanges. So honestly, if you do have any questions about the car, the video or the Emerald setup, do please get in touch with Team Green today and we'll be more than happy to help. Remember, you can find us on Facebook, Instagram and YouTube, which I may add is multi-award winning, and keep in touch with all things Emerald. But for me, it's thank you very much for watching and we really do hope to speak to you soon.